Traditionally, this is the start of the boating season, the, the May long weekend, Victoria Day, and everybody's headed to the water. We're talking about the importance of wearing a life jacket, not just have one because it's the law to have it in your boat, but actually wear it. And even for youngsters to wear them around water. We're also talking about the fact that alcohol and boating do not mix. Uh, people should understand that the penalty is the same as if they were impaired driving in their vehicle. It's too severe to even risk. So leave the alcohol at home, enjoy the time on the water alcohol free. It's very important to understand everybody must carry a Pleasure Craft Operator card. Transport Canada issues those. Uh, Life Saving Society and many other organizations can do the tests for you, teach it, and do the exam so you can get a card. We want people to understand that when they're leaving the dock, be prepared, carry enough fuel to not only get out but get back. Uh, have all the equipment they need in their boat. If they removed it last fall, make sure it's back in there before they go in the water. And finally, understand the risk of cold water immersion. Uh, right now, the water is still very cold. The ice has just left the lakes uh, this month and the water is just a few degrees above freezing. Although they could be in their boat and it'd be very warm uh, if they were to accidentally fall in, cold water shock is going to cause a gas reflex, which can often ingest water and start the, the dangerous process around drowning.